Well then, let's get started. For the next three days, we have to stay inside this red circle. We can't leave for three whole days? Yep, but if we can do it, then we get the treasure inside of that chest over there. Wow, really? Well, in that case, I'm all ready to start. That's the spirit. These guys will enforce the rules. Let's take a look around. The circle is pretty small. It doesn't have much inside. Even this little farm has been cut in half. <sighs> At least there's a whole house inside this circle. Let's go check it out. Ew, this house, it's... Oh. So dirty! This is awful! Cobwebs. It is a bit worn down. But there is a chest in here. Huh? Open! Uh, hmm? Ew! Rotten flesh? But why? Uh, Yuck! The next three days will be tough. Can we really live here like this? We have to at least try, right? Oh, yeah! Mikey, we should start with the basic necessities and get some wood so we can start crafting. All right! At least we have access to some wood. You're right. Okay. We can even use the wood from the houses. Let's tear it down. Hmm, don't you think this house is way too small? It's red. Oh, that's the edge of the circle. Be careful. Okay. That should be enough for now. Yep. We have so much. Oh, right on the edge. Okay, we've stocked up on wood. That's good. First things first. I'm putting the crafting table here. All right. Hmm, we'll need some sticks. Yep. Now we have pickaxes. Sweet. What's next? How about axes? Yeah. Now, oh. shovels. Nice. Here. Thanks, JJ. So? Looks good. Yep, we have all our bare necessities. Cool. We can use these to gather stone. I hope there's enough. Me too. Here's some. Yeah! This house is scrap material for us. Break it down! Okay. Hmm. Hmm? Just thinking. Oh, what's up? I hope we can make it. I hope so too. How about we do some scavenging? Think we'll find anything? Well, let's take a look around. Okay. This house. I wonder what's inside. Let's check it out. Oh, there's a red line. It runs right through the middle. There's nothing in here. At least nothing we can reach. Bummer. There's a crafting table. Hmm. Oh, look! What? See that up there? There's nothing. The house is empty. It looks that way, but the bookshelves have a button sticking out. Oh? Huh? Yeah, you're right. Let's see what it does. I'm going to push the button without crossing the line. Click. Huh? Hmm? Oh. I saw something. What is that? There's a secret chest. How cool. Wow. I'll loot it. Well? Look, it has five iron ingots. Awesome. We're lucky. Wow. Now that we have iron, there's something I want to make. What is it? Something vital. Oh. Ta-da. A bucket. What for? Just wait and see. So far, we only have rotten flesh, right? I'll harvest some potatoes. Oh! We have food. Yay! Let's gather more. Good idea. All right. I have 31 potatoes. Nice. Now comes the bucket. There's some lava over here, right? I'll scoop it up with the bucket and put it into the furnace. What next? The potatoes. Mm. It's working. This way we can cook all of the potatoes at once using the lava. Oh, wow. Pretty smart, huh? Yeah. Now we have enough food for three days. Huh. That was easy. Yeah. Three days will be a breeze. Here, have some food. Thanks. Um, nom, 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 nom. Wow, looks yummy. It is. Nice. Things are going smoothly so far, but these wooden tools won't last forever. Nope. Let's upgrade them. Oh, yeah. How about stone tools? But we don't have any stone. 
What do we do? Destroy our house? I don't think we have to resort to that yet because I have a plan. What is it? Just watch. This goes here. I'll break this block to clear some space. Something like this. There. Oh? I'll open up a hole here. Sure. Dig down here. And then? Cover it up. What are you making? Maybe I'll flip it around. Oh yeah, much better. Hmm. Now to use the bucket. Okay. To get some water. I'm really confused. Dump it in here and... Okay, here it goes. What? I'm smashing the block. See? Huh? What's happening? It's a cobblestone generator. Whoa! Really? Yep. Cool. Thanks. It keeps going? Yeah, it goes on forever. So now we can... Craft a bunch of stone tools? Yeah. Whoa! That's the idea. Now I have... A stone pickaxe. Oh! Watch! That's so amazing, JJ! Yeah, sweet! Whoa! Let's build up our cobblestone supply. It's easy like this. Definitely. All right, we have more than enough stone to upgrade our tools. Oh! Let's get started. I'll make a stone pickaxe. Then an axe. And a shovel. Here's yours, Mikey. Thanks. Yep. Awesome. Now we have our stone tools. Hooray! Everything's going so well. Looks like our potatoes are done cooking, too. Sounds like we're all stocked up. Mm-hmm. Let's call it a night. Okay. <sighs> Tired? Yeah. Same. Let's sleep. Okay. Hmm? What's up? Uh, hmm? Mikey? What? We forgot something. Oh, we did? We forgot to make beds. You're right! What do we do now? I'm sorry, Mikey, but we're gonna have to stay up all night. Oh, look! The sun's coming up! Finally! If the sun is up, that means we made it to day two. First, let's make our beds. Yeah. It might be tough to find the right materials. Do you see wool anywhere? Oh, look! There's a sheep pen over there. We could get wool from them. Good idea. But we can't reach them. We can't leave the red circle. It's impossible. Aww. That's true. They're so close, yet so far. Just out of reach for us in the circle. Aww. We can make shears. But why? We had just enough iron to make them. Well, actually, I think I just came up with an idea. Let's see. Really? We could have done this from the start. Oh? Done what? Follow me. Right behind you. Okay, let's start here. Hmm. We'll need some of this. And that. I'll make one for you, too. Stone swords. Sweet. Here's yours. Thanks. We have swords. Now what? Now we use something from in the house. But it's empty. Nope. Remember? The cobwebs. Huh? Why are you doing that? I don't get it. If you break them up with a sword, you get string. Right! What are we doing with string? Just watch. First, I need a few more sticks. What are you making? You'll see. Hmm. Put the string in here and... Yes! Here's a fishing rod. Uh, thanks? Now we can use these fishing rods to grab the sheep. That's the plan? It'll work. I'm going to activate the pressure plate first. Let's catch those sheep. Okay. You got one. Reel them in. Yeah. Great catch. Keep tugging. Yeah, almost there. All right. You did it! I got three blocks! Another! Awesome! Pull them in! Let me get the wool. We can still get it even if it's across the red line. Uh -huh. 
See? We did it, Mikey! Whoa! Nice! Six blocks of wool. That means we can make two beds. Oh! Oh, yeah! That was a great plan! Thank you! Now let's craft our beds. I'll put these here. And then this. Oh? Like so. Yep! Oh! Sweet! We did it! We made two beds! Hooray! Finally! Here's yours, Mikey. Yes! We get to sleep tonight! Yeah! Awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> Let's clear some space. We can put them down right here, okay? Alright. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight! The problem is, no one lives here. That's kinda sad. So now, hmm? that we've washed up on this island, we're gonna have a quiz on how to survive. Hang on, I was born in the ocean. You know I'm gonna win, right? Are you sure you want to make a video of me winning? That's true. You are a sea turtle. You did come from the ocean. Yeah. You know how to survive. Yeah, that's right. If you get stuck on an uninhabited island, hmm? I'm the one to come to. Wait a sec. Technically, since I'm not a person, this island is still uninhabited by people. As a turtle, I'm just part of the island. <laughs> Since I'm a human, it's no longer uninhabited. That's a good point. You got me there. <laughs> Let's get going already. I heard that most humans can go three days without water and seven days without food before dying. Blech! Based on that... Yikes! Humans are so weak! What about you? Turtles dry up fast. All right, Mikey. Let's get started. So, we're stranded here now. Right! Quiz time! What is the very first thing that should be done? Easy. Hmm? You should take a look at the entire island. Run around it. I'll be fast. Come on, JJ, hurry up. It's a race against time. Can you please keep up with my speed? I'm a turtle, for goodness sake. What's the rush, Mikey? When night falls, it'll be hard to assess the island. Oh. That's why I need you to go fast. And fast-paced videos do well on YouTube. Get it? Just follow my lead. OK. Relax. You got to stay cool to survive. Oh, I get it. That makes sense. Huh. You're checking to see what's on the island. Correct! I was thinking about making a map of the island. Have you heard of Lewis and Clark? <laughs> Sorry, it's something only scholars like me would know. <laughs> Mikey, everyone knows who they are. Huh? You knew too? <laughs> yeah. So you're channeling your inner Lewis and Clark to make a map? Yep, we need a map of the island. That's a good idea, Mikey. I'm getting tired already. JJ, I'm starving! Whoa! Maybe I made a mistake. I burned through my stamina so much that I can't run anymore. What do I do? Oh, wait. I gotta stay cool to survive. I gotta keep my cool. What should we do, JJ? Mikey, hey! Save me! Help me, please! <laughs> I'm freaking out! Oh no, it's raining! I'm a turtle, so getting wet is fine. Ah, lightning! <laughs> it's gonna ruin my hair! Wait, I don't have any hair. Uh, I'm panicking! I'm panicking, JJ! In the end, Mikey, all you've done is run around and there's no map. You failed the first question. You just wore yourself out and made ourselves hungry. What you said about staying cool was correct. Thank you, thank you. One point for me. You need a private place to settle down away from the wind and rain. So, Mikey, the very first step is to make a safe base. Huh. Got it? Yep. You can use a cave or build your own house. Hmm, you don't have much time now. Do you think you can build a house? It might be tricky. Hmm. So let's go with a cave. A cave, then. How can you stay so cool, JJ? Your calmness is scaring me. Because I've played survival mode. Let's qualify for the level 5 Minecraft exam. <laughs> you need a shelter in Minecraft, too. That's true. Let's find a cave. Sounds good. Oh, look. A cave? We can get out of the rain in here. Yeah, let's go. Ow! Stop being so panicky. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> You're talking about yourself, Mikey. I'm too hungry to run anymore, but at least we have a place to stay. We should probably rest for the night. Yeah, we'll be safe. We made it through our first night. I'm so hungry and thirsty. What do we do? That's question number two. <gasps> what? You need to find drinking water. People can survive for a week without food, but we'll die after three days without water. We should go find some right away because we've already gone a day without it. Okay, follow me. Come on, look. It's the ocean. Water. Hooray! Ooh, it tastes so good. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you drinking it? You don't like seawater? Oh, that's right. Mikey. Wow, so good. 
You're a turtle. Yummy. So seawater is still drinking water for you. Have some. It makes sense that a sea turtle would drink seawater. Hmm, of course we can. Correct answer. What an easy game. GG, JJ. Pretend like you're a human for a sec, Mikey. Ooh, this is tough. I'm a turtle undercover as a human. I need a new water source, I guess. Ooh. If humans drink salt water, we'd only get thirstier. It rained yesterday, so maybe the raindrops on the treetops will work. Unfortunately, that's not a thing in Minecraft. Let's keep looking. Sounds good. Over here. Where? The river. This one. Oh, nice. Yummy. This stuff is delicious. You're drinking straight river water? So good. I can't get enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wrong answer. What? Eh. Wrong? But river water is clean. You really think so? Huh, I do. It tastes great. Fresh water? It has fish poop and animal pee and all kinds of bacteria and viruses in it. That water is dirty, Mikey. Ugh, no way! I drank it! <laughs> you should have checked it first. Give me a break. Tell me sooner. You have to filter it. Ow, I think my tummy hurts. <laughs> yeah, Mikey. There are pathogens in there. You need to be careful or you'd get the runs. Ugh, what do I do now? If you catch a fever, you might not survive. Oh no, I'd have to take a break from YouTube. I can't let that happen. Let's be sure to filter it. Right, can you teach me how? Of course, let's do it. Ta-da! Wow, you're a genius. Check it out. This is a filtration device. It doesn't have to be this big, though. From the top, we have layers of small rocks, gravel, sand, and coal. Coal? Coal can absorb a variety of things from water. Then, at the bottom, we have a cloth filter. I'll take a dip in this clean water. Oh, yum! <laughs> this water is now turtle-flavored. We can put the river water in here to filter it. You can drink as much as you want, Mikey. Yummy! Ew, there's film of fuzz from your red hoodie. Yuck! Well, the turtle flavor is worse. I can see the fuzz from your hoodie, but I'll still drink it. At least there aren't any pathogens. We should be able to survive for a very long time. But isn't it kind of a hassle? I wouldn't want to do all this. Well, it may be a hassle, Mikey, but you can't be too careful when it comes to clean drinking water. You wouldn't want to get the runs, would you? Our health comes first. Ugh. What we eat and drink is important, indeed. No one wants to get the runs, so it's worth the hassle to build yourself a water filter. Although this is totally unnecessary for a turtle like me. The more knowledge you have, the better you'll be. Knowledge is power! We have water, now we need food. That's right, I'm hungry. All right, on to question number three, getting food. Let's head back to our shelter first. Let's go! I'm starving to death. You're dying. No! Uh-oh. There's a mushroom. I can't eat it! <laughs> you were gonna eat it? I need to hurry and eat! Wrong answer, Mikey. Why? No matter how hungry you are, you should avoid eating mushrooms. But I'm about to die! I need it! When it comes to survival, you need to avoid mushrooms. What if they're raw? Definitely no. <gasps> but I love them! I'm gonna dig in. They might be poisonous. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that part sooner? There's still a chance they're safe to eat, right? Don't try to scare this cute little turtle, JJ! <laughs> I'm not that little, actually. I'm about five foot five. We're all the same height in Minecraft. That's right. Mikey, apparently over 90% of mushrooms are poisonous. Ugh, no way! So I shouldn't eat them. The odds are one in ten. <laughs> Why'd you give it to me? You could have told me about the mushrooms sooner. We Whoa, that was a close one, Mikey. Seriously, what's wrong with us? Something terrible happened today. Whoa, there's a drowned attacking us. Oh, but a dolphin swam by to help. Anyway, here's the problem. For some reason, we can only breathe underwater. Oh no! Is that why we took damage on land? Yep, we don't have the ability to breathe on land anymore. Be careful. I better do something about this drown. It's going down. There we go. Today, we're playing survival mode where we can only breathe underwater. Look at the dolphins, so cute. Fish too. Whoa, if you swim next to a dolphin, it'll start swimming even faster. Seriously? Cool. Check it out, Mikey. Did you know that if you feed a dolphin a fish, something good will happen? What? Let's find out. Oh, I caught a fish. 
Now watch this. Dolphins will start gathering around me if I hold it out. Hmm. Look, it's working. Here's the fish. I fed the dolphin. Now what? But keep watching. The dolphin will lead us to a special place. Let's follow it. Where is it taking us? Hang on, which dolphin was it again? Try another fish. Do you have one? Give it to the next dolphin you see. They're ignoring me. Hey, come get your fish. I think there are more dolphins over that way. Come on. Let's go. Let me know if a dolphin comes up to you. I got another fish I want to give away. Oh, look, a school of fish. I caught one. Wow, this dolphin can swim really fast. Slow down. Wait. That's incredible. Don't leave us behind, dolphin. Please. It despawned. Huh? Wait a second, Mikey. We made it. This is the place it was leading us. What is it? Look, Mikey. No way. It's a sunken ship. Thanks, dolphin. Yeah, thank you. Apparently, if you feed a dolphin, there's a chance it can lead you to sunken ships. I had no idea. We should take a look around the wreckage. Let the treasure hunt begin. Yo, oh, look out. What? Here, there's a pocket of air. Uh-oh, there's our worst enemy. If we go out into the air, our oxygen bar will go down. I'm filling up my oxygen, then grabbing the chest. Good plan. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, open. Oh, paper. Uh-oh, my oxygen bar. Check it out, Mikey. We got a treasure map. Is there any other treasure around here? Oh, hey, a chest. Awesome. Ready? Open. Oh, wow. Sweet. Nice. Have some emeralds, Mikey. Thanks. I got some wood. Is that it? No. Usually there are three chests per sunken ship. There should be another one nearby. I don't see anything. Oh, well. Thanks to that dolphin, we got our hands on a treasure map. It's time to go on a treasure hunt. Woohoo! We're that white dot up on the top left of the map. The red X at the bottom middle is where the treasure is. We need to swim across the entire ocean to find it. Come on. Let's go this way. Sure. We're off. Sweet. I think this is probably the right direction. Yep, it's this way. I'm pretty sure that north is up, south is down, west is left, and east is right. Let's see, I need to follow along the x-coordinate to stay north. I'll just keep moving forward for now. Nope, I'm wrong. Looks like the positive z-coordinates go south, which means I might have had it the other way around. Okay, I think I get it now. Follow me, Mikey. If you say so. I'm still confused. Oh, a dolphin. If we go beside it, we'll swim faster. Woohoo! Where are you, Mikey? Uh-oh, I think I lost him. Sorry, Mikey. Wait up! We're coming back for you, Mikey. Thank you. You went too far. Oh, Mikey! Wait, that's a drowned! Run! I'm here! I see you. Come swim with me and the dolphin. Try to stay close. You're going too fast, little dolphin. Wait for me! Hurry! Whoa. Here? I think we're almost there. Check the map. We're right under the X. X marks the spot. We're so close. Uh, here, take a look. Oh, this is it. If we're in the right spot, that means we need to dig. Dig it all up. We're digging barehanded. I brought the wood from the sunken ship. That's awesome. You're a genius, Mikey. All right. Wow, zombies! Behind you, JJ. Huh? The zombies are coming. Whoa, it's a whole horde. Why are there so many all of a sudden? They're getting in the way of our treasure hunt. I should make some shovels. I can protect you. I'll make one for both of us. This is nuts. Here's your shovel. Where? Here. Thank you. Hey, stop that. Oh, no. It's right there. Grab it. I got it. The spot on the map was right here. Here? I think so. It's somewhere on this side. Right here. Hey, Mikey, we might be in trouble. Ouch! Hey! Attack! Hey! Is the dolphin helping us out? I guess not. Yikes! I'm low on health! Don't worry. 
I got this. We're gonna need a pickaxe, JJ. Yes, one down. We need a pickaxe. I'll just beat them with my shovel. I'm fighting one at a time. Who's next? Uh-oh, my shovel, it broke on me. Woohoo! Use this! Here! Okay. I think I'm probably doomed! They're too strong! Don't worry. I'll make a shovel and fight for you. Hurry! They're coming for me! I'm coming! Go! Oh. Yikes! I can take him down. This iron shovel isn't bad. Why didn't you make a pickaxe? There wasn't enough iron. I see. Oh well, this is fine. I can make a pickaxe with gold instead. Oh, smart! A gold pickaxe. I'll use this to mine, even if it breaks easily. Help! I'm cornered! Leave it to me! I'm alone! Let's play dodgeball. No! <laughs> oh, Mikey! JJ! Too bad. I'll pick up Mikey's stuff for now. Thanks. Now then. Finish them all! Yes, we took him out! Let's find the treasure, JJ! You take the shovel. Sure, I'll start digging. Let's see. You'll be digging around the sand, right? Yep. I'll mine the stone. It must be close. I hope we find it. Where is this treasure buried? Who knows? I'm glad we can breathe underwater. Me too. It's really useful for treasure hunting. We're almost there. I think… I don't see it. My pickaxe is gonna break soon. I'm gonna start looking for some iron. Uh, keep an eye out for me, okay? Sure. I found iron ore. I'll pick up gravel. <gasps> hmm? Huh? What? But... Huh? Huh? What happened? It's nothing. Did you just find the treasure, Mikey? Yep. Check this out, JJ. So it was here the whole time? Uh-huh. Hmm. Ready, set, open! It was right here! What's inside? No way! I don't believe it! All that digging was for nothing! I was digging gravel and it popped out! Okay, let's loot this chest. Ready? Go for it! All right, open! Well? Whoa! Oh, that's a whole lot of TNT! Awesome! Nice! What a haul! There's even fish! You can keep the TNT. Oh, thanks! Wow! Fantastic! You missed one. I'll get it. There. That was great. You hungry? Yes, sir. Here. Creeper! Let's fight it. Ah! <laughs> Look what was in the chest. We found a heart of the sea. Uh, take it, Mikey. Here. For real? Woohoo! First. Ta-da! I made a crafting table. I can finally use all the stone I gathered to make myself a furnace, which means I'll be able to cook my fish. Huh? Huh? Why can't I cook this fish? Maybe because it's tropical. Oh well, I guess we can eat something else instead. Did you know that kelp can be a good food source? All right, now that I have 13 pieces of kelp, I should cook it. There we go. Nice. I don't think any drowned will get through here. Time to decorate. What? You're decorating with TNT? Yep. Is that safe? I don't think TNT will hurt us as long as we're underwater. All right, Mikey. Uh, take some food. Freshly cooked kelp. Thank you. No problem. Yum. That's a wrap. It's pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Not bad. Thanks. Can you guess what I was aiming for when I built it? You wanted to build it floating on top of a coral reef? Good guess. Fantastic. Take a look at this view. Whoa. I want to live here with you, Mikey. Actually, I have an even better idea. What if we spent the day building a floating house together? Just for the two of us. I know exactly what kind of house I want it to be. What do you say? Huh? Great idea. I can't wait to get started. Where should we build it? Awesome. Time to build an extravagant, fancy house on the water. I think we should build it above the coral reef. It'll be super scenic. We need it to be somewhere deep, though. How about here? Sure, why not? Let's build it here. First things first, we need to lay the foundation. That's right. We should make it really big. Since we want it to look modern, there's no better block to use than quartz. Keep building it, Mikey. How 
How's this? That looks great. Whoa, is this good for the base? It could be a bit bigger on this side. Oh. That should do it. Wow, the base is done. Next up, we need to make the frame. Let's see, I wonder if this will be wide enough. Oh well, I'm happy with this. 